Hello everyone, welcome to Geeks for Geeks. In this video, we are going to see that if a number is palindrome or not. We are going to see this through a C++ code. So what is a palindrome number? A number is palindrome if the reverse of the number is equal to the original number. For example, if the number is 1, 2, 3, 4, then the reverse of the number will be 4, 3, 2, 1. Therefore, this is not palindrome as it is not equal to the original number. For example, if the number is 2002, then the reverse of the number will be 2002. As this is equal to the original number, so this is a palindrome number. So this is the code of the problem. We are having a function palindrome that will return 1 if the number is palindrome and 0 if the number is not palindrome. So this variable n uh, is our original number. We are having a variable reverse that will be 0. This will store the reversed value of n. We are having another variable temp that is initialized with n. We are running a while loop with condition temp greater than 0. Then we are calculating the remainder of temp by temp mod 10. Then uh, reverse will be storing reverse into 10 plus r. Then temp will again be initialized by temp divided by 10. So the last digit of temp will be removed by this operation. Finally, we are after uh, this loop will be over finally. We are returning uh, 1. Uh, if n is equal equal to reverse, we will return 1. And if n is not equals to reverse, then 0 will be returned by this function palindrome. This is the dry run of the code. Let us suppose that the value of n is 1, 2, 3, 4. Then the value of temp will also be 1, 2, 3, 4. As temp is greater than 0, so we will enter into this loop. Then the value of r will be initialized by 4. As 1, 2, 3, 4 mod 10 will be 4. Uh, this will return the last uh, digit of this uh, temp. So 4 will be initialized to r. Then the value of reverse will be 0 into 10 plus 4. So reverse will be 4. Then temp will be uh, reinitialized by 1, 2, 3, 4 divided by 10. This will give out to be 1, 2, 3, 123. As the last digit 4 will be removed by this operation. So as temp is now also greater than 0, we will enter again into this loop. The value of r will be 3 this time as 123 mod 10 is 3. Then uh, reverse will be equals to 4 into 10 plus 3. This will come out to be 43. So now temp will again be reinitialized by uh, 123 divided by 10. This will come out to be 12. So temp is greater than 0 now also. So we will enter into this loop again. The value of r will come out to be 2 as 12 mod 10 equals to 2. The value of reverse will be 43 into 10 plus 2. So reverse will become 432. Then the new value of temp will be uh, 12 divided by 10. This will come out to be 1 as temp is greater than 0. So we will uh, again enter into the loop. The value of r will come out to be 1 mod 10 that is 1. And the value of reverse will be 432 into 10 plus 1. So it will become 4321. And uh, the new value of temp will be 1 divided by 10. This time the value of temp will be 0. So now as temp is not greater than 0, so we will exit the while loop and come to this return statement. Now it will compare that if original number n that is 1, 2, 3, 4 is equals to reverse that is 4321. Uh, so in this case it is uh, these both values are not equal so 0 will be returned by this palindrome function. In another case if uh, suppose these two values would be equal uh, then this function would return 1 to the main function. So this is the working of this function and I hope you understood the working. So thank you for watching this video. Please leave us your comments.